You know, tonight was a case of where uh, an aware and alert neighbor helped us capture three burglar suspects. Um, a vehicle pulled into a residence here in Tomball. Uh, a gentleman got out and approached the, uh, the homeowner claiming to be a utility worker, uh, advising her that they're going to be digging underground cable at a residence and wanting her to see where they're going to be digging. Um, so without hesitation, uh, she followed him around the house so he can show her where they're going to be digging. And um, as he lured her away from the residence, two of his friends exited the vehicle and commenced to burglarize the house. Well, it was, once again, goes back to the alert and aware neighbor who's seen her walk to the rear of the residence with one subject as the other two got out of their vehicle and went into her residence and just realized that just didn't look right. And far too often, people don't call the police because they think they're bothering us when they're not. This person did not hesitate. They called us and clearly said, I believe my neighbor's being robbed. Um, we had officers respond immediately uh, upon our arrival. The subjects were attempting to leave the, uh, the residence, and we were able to stop them. When we stopped them, the homeowner ran out, immediately noticed that uh, her jewelry and personal belongings were missing, and started yelling uh, to the police, my, my jewelry's missing. And we were able to take all three subjects in custody and recover thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. How much jewelry was that? Uh, it was a praised value of over $70,000. Wow. What time did the incident happen? It happened about, uh, about 6.30, 7 p.m. What was the location of the incident? It was around the 1300 block of uh, East Husmith, right here in the city of Tomball. And uh, you were lucky because you had an accident there. It kind of slowed them down. We did. You know, we had a uh, an unfortunate event of where we had an overturned uh, dump truck that was causing traffic to be backed up on the roadway. Well, the backed up traffic prohibited the uh, suspects from leaving the driveway as fast as they would like to. So by the time they were able to leave the driveway, we had officers on scene. Uh, what kind of advice can you give the residents about this? You know, I think the, the best advice goes right back to Neighborhood Watch. You know, we got to take care of our own. we got to be alert of what's going on in our neighborhood. And once again, when you see something that just don't look right, don't hesitate to, uh, to call us. You know, like once again, a lot of people think they're bothering us when they're not. That's our job. And we're going to go out there and we'll look at it. And if, if it's normal, we'll, we'll tell them to have a nice day and go on our way. But if an incident like this, that person who did not hesitate to call allowed us to put three burglar suspects in jail. When y'all uh, approached the house, was there any struggle uh, taking the suspects into custody? No, nope. we were able to uh, arrest all three subjects without incident. Uh, once again, I believe we caught them by surprise because I think they're victims. Uh, it takes them a little longer than normal to realize objects are missing or the personal property is missing. This was an immediate reaction from the homeowner, and we were already on scene.